Welcome back. New at six, we are catching up with a Pueblo West man who we first met on Christmas. Yeah, at the time, GT Davis had just put up what's called a blessing box in his front yard. Now the idea is the talk of the town. New side's Natalie Chuck. She's live outside one of these boxes with more on the mission tonight, Natalie. I never thought I'd get such a kick out of it that I, I do. What started with no expectations. I wasn't even sure I was going to put a box up because I wasn't sure it was going to work out. Has spread all across Pueblo. This one's going on the east side. That'll be the east side. Ever since GT Davis put up his blessing box on Christmas Eve and posted the idea on Facebook. Long list of people wanting uh, blessing boxes and I, uh, I decide, uh, you know, if they want them, I will build them. Davis can make about one box per week. He has so many requests for these food pantries right now that he's already booked out for almost two more months. Oh man, I was taking pictures out my window. <laughs> Jewel Gotchlog recently got one of the 10 boxes put in her yard. She says the whole pantry filled up within two hours of it being there. This lady had put like three things here, four things there. And then I went back in to get the paint to paint it, to water seal it. And I came out and was like, that. <laughs> Davis has even made a Google map so everyone can easily find blessing boxes near them but says we still have to get the word out to those who need it. Plenty of people willing to give the food. We're not, that's not the problem. It's getting it to the people who need it. If anybody has any ideas, I sure like to hear them. And Davis wants to stress that this box right here, it's called the belly box, could use a little extra love. You can see it's empty right now. It's located at the corner of City Center and Grand. So if you have any non-perishable food, please come drop it off. And there's a lot more information about these blessing boxes and where you can find them over on our website, koaa.com. Always watching out for you, Pueblo. Natalie Chuck, News 5.